Hi, today I want to share with you a presentation that I made for medical professionals who are preparing for their oral exams. Now, this is a very practical presentation. I've got some tools that I'm going to give you to up your speaking game. And the presentation is called Speaking Secrets. Let's get into it. Hello, presentation. Now, I want you to think, give me a number out of 10. You can put it in the comments below. How anxious do you get when you have to speak in front of an audience? The stakes are high. So let's say 10, you get extreme anxiety, zero, nothing at all. Leave it outside of the window. So tell me in the comments below, are you a 10? Are you an eight? Are you a seven? Where on the scale are you? Now I have a next question, which you can add in there. And that is where? Does anxiety, especially for speaking, manifest in your body? Do you get a lump in your throat? Do you get sweaty palms? Does your heart beat out of your body? Do you want to throw up? Where does it manifest in your body? Comment below. We, I feel you. We've all been there. Now, we don't need Google to tell us that 75% of people struggle with the fear of speaking in public. It's on different levels uh, from situation to situation, but we know, we know we can seem that there is a bit of a wobble we have. Now, the, the only thing with anxiety and fear is that it keeps us small, it closes us, it holds us back. And we want to progress forward in our examinations, in our relationships with people, in the way we connect. Now, some of you might think, but Ursula, I'm shy and I'm an introvert. This is hard for me. You don't understand. Well, actually, I do understand. Takes one to know one. And let me tell you this part. Some of the best speakers are introverts. One of my favorite speakers, Simon Sinek, a business thought leader. He's an introvert. And his success is the fact that he needs to apply himself so much more than anybody else. He needs to apply and really be intentional about delivering his speaking skills and having the tools to do that. So being an introvert, being shy could be your superpower. Now, executive presence is when you are standing on that podium, when you're doing your oral examinations or you are having your an interaction with your patient you want to be present this reflects your authenticity this is where confidence comes from this is what makes you a magnet people are just drawn into you and sylvia ann Hewlett did a phenomenal study on executive presence where she found that there are three things at play here for executive presence and this is what i've built my method methodology on the cogram method which is based on communication, gravitas, and image. And when we bring these three together, that brings confident speaker who has executive presence. And all three elements, they play together. So communication is how we speak. Gravitas is how we act. And image is how you appear. And we can go deep into every single one of them. But today we're going to touch, touch on communication, how you speak. Now, what is the power source of your voice? Where does voice come from? Is it your voice box, your vocal folds? Think about the air that passes through the vocal folds that causes it to vibrate. So go back to your power source and that is breath. And here you want to bring in diaphragmatic breathing. Now, people don't breathe. We use a third of our lung capacity, a third. And when you get anxious, you use even less. So you really want to become conscious and intentional about your breathing. Breathe into your diaphragm here, into your, into your stomach, into your, the back of your rib cage. If you're a yogi or do Pilates, you'll know how to access this. Otherwise, we, we need to do some breathing exercises. I want to introduce you to the King Technique. This is 
imagine a king walking into a room. What is his breathing pattern like? His breathing is slow and controlled. Imagine a teenager who's nervous. <gasps> it's short, it's short, pedantic, nervous energy breathing. So get into your deep diaphragmatic breathing and this will give your voice more power. It will give your brain oxygen and it will calm down your nervous system. The triple threat. Bring in your vocal variety. Play. I want you today to send a voice note to somebody and see how much vocal variety you can bring in. What is vocal variety? It's your volume. Are we going to go loud? Are we going to go soft? Are we going to speak really slowly and then speed it up? Quick. So here we can just play, play, play. Send a voice note today and see how much vocal variety you can have. Who won the race? Tortoise or the rabbit? You know, take it slow. Speak slowly. Because when we are anxious, we tend to speak really fast. What happens then? We stumble over our words. We mumble. We swallow words in. Now we can't connect. People can't hear us. And it's a nervous energy. Confident speakers, they speak slowly. Take it low. Take it low. Drop the intonation, low and slow. Bring the two together. Now, especially for women, when we get nervous, we go into the high pitch. We take it up. And then we sound uncertain and not assertive. So, when you are nervous, especially if you're going into your oral examination or you're stepping into a presentation, or you're having a difficult phone call or a difficult conversation you've got to have, be intentional to just take take it lower take it one scale lower deeper not too deep but take it deeper and then make a point of ending your sentences low because when we're uncertain of what we have to say we go up oh. so you sound like you're talking in questions and i want you to start listening if you can hear those people who aren't sure and then it keeps going up instead of taking it down so low and slow. Take it down. Hmm. See what I did there? Pause. Pausing brings your audience back into your into your space. This you want to do, especially if you lose people. If you can see in the room you're reading the room and you notice that people aren't listening to you. Just be quiet, pause, and you will bring them back in. The pause is very powerful. It will uh, bring in attention. It will emphasize certain points. So if you want to say, today we're going to speak about mindfulness, or you could say, today we're going to speak about mindfulness. So you can really emphasize your message. Another thing about the pause is it replaces our fillers, our bad habits and speech, like um, um, um. And it is a great opportunity to get back into your king method and breathe. Take your power back, calm down the nervous system and give your voice some power. Now remember, I told you about the big secret that I was going to reveal at the end. When I work with my clients, we, we ask the five whys. They would say, I have speaking anxiety. Why? 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 We ask until we get to the core. And then the answer is something usually like, well, I, I'm scared what they're going to say of me. What if I make a fool out of myself? What, are, what, what if I mess up? I want you to change that narrative. Don't make it about you. It's not about you. What value can I give you? Who's the one person in the room who needs to hear this? Now, let's go back to your medical examination, your, your oral examination. You have done a diagnostic on, a, on your patient. You are taking the, the knowledge that you've gained and you've worked so hard on. You're fusing the two, you're bringing them together and now you're offering this 
to the examiners. You're showing them what you found. Look at this rich information we have here. And I'm presenting that to you. And this is an unveiling and an unfolding. And you have a lot to offer and share. So all of a sudden, the narrative is not anymore about what are they going to think. But there's another secret. There's another secret. Malcolm Gladwell, 10,000 hours. You have to practice. Just listening to these tips aren't going to change you. You need to do the work. You need to take one tip a day and, and actually work on that tip. Just one. Today can be breathing and tomorrow can be vocal variety. But be intentional with what you do. And then keep going and going and going. I have a guide here. And I will put my guide here on the comments in the, in the below so you can you can access it because I have more. I have so much more that I can share with you that can really elevate your speaking, your oral examinations, or whatever presentation that you have coming up. I'd love to connect with you. I'd love to hear how this comes up for you, what you need. Let me support you. Ursula at confidentvoices.co.za, reach out to me or go follow me on Instagram. But I would love to connect with you on this topic. But there you have the secrets. Let me know which secret is your favorite secret. What spoke to your heart? And connect with me. I'd love to hear back from you.